to funds, na, halos na ubus sila yung 6.1 billion eh. Ang natira na lang doon is 11 million. Pero sa agency specific budget, 1.4 billion ang an obligated allotment. So, may we request eh, the I'd response like to know the, the budget officer? Uh, ma'am, pa- paulit po ma'am, pwede. Ano po yun? Okay, yung unprogram fund nyo, 6.1 billion yun. Ang natira na lang doon is 11.3 million. So, ibig sabihin, halos na-utilize nyo yung buo. Walang natira halos, 11 million na lang. Pero sa agency-specific budget nyo, under the 35 billion obligated, ang un- un- obligated allotment nyo is 1.4 billion. So, malaki. Yeah, I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but when I was hearing it from BBM, the explanation was that the program fund is for specific allocation. Ito kasi dito yung unobligated nila, the... The, the reasons for it being unobligated is by way of uh, implementation of other programs contained in the GAA. And I believe maybe the Honorable Bernadette Herrera D can sit down with the budget officers. Yes, I'd like to know, uh, kasi kung kaya naman pala nilang gastos ng mabilisan yun, bakit sa ibang bagay hindi nila kaya? Item, eh. No, ang program fund nila dito sa regular. Baka pwedeng pasagutin po natin sila, Madam Chair. Yeah, maybe request a response from the budget officer. Um, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, uh, Madam Chair, for the 5.4 billion kanina, that is only solely intended for the uh, rice um, cash assistance. Yun po ang program na yun. Iisa lang pong uh, item yun. Yun po yung kasama dun sa special provision na excess. Basically what you're saying, ma'am, is that program fund is for the rice um, subsidy. So mas madali mo siyang i-disburse. The unobligated are pertaining to what programs? Yung unobligated na wala sa yeah, program fund. Yung, kanina, yan, Madam Chair. yung tinatanong kanina ni Congressman Daza, paano mabibilisan yung utilization? Um, kung ang tinatanong po ni Madam ay yung 1.4 na unprogram, wala po akong... No, no, no. no. She, what she's asking is yung, yung mga unobligated pa. Unobligated po. Yung sagot mo kasi kanina was... Oh, yes, pre- yes, ma'am, Madam. Um, for our unobligated, we were directed to fully utilize our budget at the end of the year. Magagamit po natin yun. Da, nasa ano po sila? Uh, procurement process. In other Madam words, Chair, you did not start the procurement kasi wala pang actual cash. Yan yung nangyari. Madam Chair, 2021 yes, po ito, ha, not 2022. Yes, that was the response actually earlier. Bago lang lumabas yung uh, notice that it is funded. Bayanihan nata to, no? Sa bayanihan. Hindi po yata ito bayanihan, Madam Chair. <laughs> What's the unobligated fund that you're referring Agency to? Agency-specific budget po nila to. Yeah, but can you have the specific program? That's why tinatanong ko po sila eh. Kasi ito po yung out of the 35 billion obligated, 1.4 billion remains unobligated. So may we... Uh, Madam Chair, can we just have a one-on-one on on uh, uh, the discussion? Para po mas makita De, po namin. Pero very quickly lang, no? may pondo kayo. Okay, okay. may naiwan daw sa agency budget. May naiwan na unobligated na 1.4. What is that item in your record? Yung unobligated? Uh, not no. unless I see the... the, the the okay. the details madam but okay. um kung ito po ay uh, carry over gagamitin pa po madam namin share. yes um, it's 2021 budget iba po yung carry over na sinasabi niya na dinediscuss ni Kong Paul kanina yung carry over was carry over of 2.4 billion from the 2020 budget that's entirely different from what i'm questioning now and uh, kaya nga po kami nagtatanong because the specifics should be known by DA and not us that's why we are asking yeah. So kayo po dapat ang sumagot ano yung, ang programs and projects that are not obligated, ano yung nawala kasi hindi nagamit. Sekdin, maybe you need more people siguro sa finance. Uh-oh. You you have an USEC also an ASEC for finance or wala? May USEC kayo for finance, may ASEC for finance, and then aside from the directors? Yeah, aside from the director, you have you, you have also an USEC for admin and finance? Wala. 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 Madam Chair. So uh, wala ngayon. Opo. Are you referring to the unspent appropriation? An obligated allotment, ma'am. An unobligated allotment. Uh, okay, ma'am, we have a um, a detailed that we can submit to you. Please. Opo. Yes, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, dudugtungan ko na rin kasi ito po yung hindi natanong din ni Paul kanina, ni SDML Paul. Pakisubmit na rin po yung 6.7 billion na continuing appropriation kasi marami rin po dito ay unreleased and unobligated appropriations. Kindly submit na lang din po to my office. Through you, Madam Chair. Before the DA family answers, I, I, I really can't accept that the DA does not have a USEC or even an ASEC for finance. 
Mas KOIC yan, Yusek or ASEC pa rin yan eh. So may, may we know who is the undersecretary for finance. Because, you know, it will be very difficult for us to be defending your budget and the Yusek concern is not here. Madam Chair, and it seems they're not ready. Parang hindi pwede yeah, na... I believe the problem is the USEC or ASEC concern, the one handling admin and finance, should be here para matulungan niya yung director. At kapag may mga kailangan, kunyari kailangan ng dagdag na tao, kung may mga kailangan, he should be here. So, uh, Secretary, why is he on the other side? Is he a member of the family or is he intending to resign? Kasi kanina pa siya labas ng labas eh. He has to help his people. Yusek Bakayo, can you take your seat please? Yusek Pasensya na, that's why we're calling you. I understand you're the OIC Yusek for Admin and Finance. Yusek Bakayo. Yes, Madam Chair. Yeah, kasi kanina pa kami nagsisimula, hindi ka namin nakikita. Nakita ka namin sandali, labas ka ng labas. And there are a lot of concerns pertaining to budgets, obligations, and utilization. So you're confirming that you're the USEC for Admin and Finance. Yes, for the meantime, uh, Your Honor. But that's still the same. Even if it's for long, for the meantime, or hindi, you are the USEC for Admin and Finance. Yes, Madam Chair. You should not be hiding. You should be here. And you should be helping your directors defend your budget. Sorry, Madam Chair. May, may we inquire why you have not been here for several hours? Are you still a member of the DA family? Yes, Madam Chair. Sorry, Madam Chair. For the Honorable Senior Yusek, Sek Ding, I believe you have to police your people. Hindi naman po araw-araw ang budget hearing eh. Nahihirapan nga tayong sumagot dito kasi labas nang labas yung mga opisyal. May, may we now uh, request um, the director to please respond. <laughs> or maybe request Yusek Bakayo to answer. The question was actually out of your agency's budget, there's a 1.4 billion unobligated. Kaya ang tanong, bakit naubos yung unprogram fund pertaining to rice subsidies, pero dito merong 1.4 billion na unobligated. What's the answer, please? Uh, Madam Chair, I will uh, confer with uh, my director, Madam Chair. The good thing